Welcome to another sexy movie recap. Watch till the end. You won't want to miss the shocking and satisfying ending. The film opens with 28-year-old Lucy Hutton at her desk at Bexley and Gaiman Publishing. The co-CEOs, Helene Pascal and Richard Bexley, are assisted by Joshua Templeman. Lucy says her hatred of Joshua Templeman is her most significant trait. Lucy Hutton dislikes Joshua Templeman. After Josh, her archenemy, entered a race, Lucy did something at work. Both assistants dislike and distrust each other. Lucy is thinking about how to beat Joshua at work and how she can handle everything. And she looks at Joshua and thinks that all he wears is blue. She counts the days in her head and sees that he has worn light blue. Are you enjoying this video? Click that sexy subscribe button. You would be helping me continue to create more sexy movie recaps just like this for you. T Blue, Medium Blue, and Savoy Blue. She is disturbed by the thought that she should hate him and gets back to work in the next scene. Smiles because neither of them wants the other to win. At that moment, she thought of how she could defeat him, and all she could think about was him. And she wanted him to regret messing up with her, just like his work and behavior messed up her mind. So she started making plans and thinking about how to make certain plans work after intensifying her rivalry with Josh. Lucy returns. She contacts her mother after a Josh-related sexual fantasy. Her mother encourages her to locate a guy if she is going out for the weekend. Lucy claims she is going out with friends, so her mother wonders why she is not going out with that workman she always brags about. Lucy sleeps to figure out why she thinks about Josh. She awakens from a Josh-related sexual dream. She dresses for work to attract him. Short black dress. Josh sees her grins and asks if she has a date. She informs him that she has a date. She lies again to Joshua about her destination. Lucy feels worse when Josh says he is heading there too. He asks her whether anybody from the workplace is present, but she is dressed to impress Josh. Lucy walks downstairs and begs Josh, who secretly loves Lucy's designer, Danny, to go out with her since he does not believe her in the black dress. She walks to the cafe when Josh asks if she wants a ride. Josh looks at her high heels and warns her that walking in them may damage her delicate tiny feet. Lucy is furious until she sees him. Josh kisses her in the elevator when they meet. Both exit the elevator. Josh takes her off to a cafe, where Danny awaits. Lucy refuses Josh's umbrella since it is pouring and leaps out of the vehicle. Josh ruins Lucy's night. Danny, but she thinks about the kiss while going to the restroom. She rants at Josh for spoiling her night and obsesses about how men can exploit her. He compliments her black clothing. Josh says he is going to return her luggage. That night, he insists on accompanying her to her date, which she is shocked to adore, but she still goes out with Danny and is upset with Josh for spoiling her night. The next day, she searches Joshua's desk for evidence. She cannot decipher his day planner codes. Lucy's mailman gives her a smurf. Lucy checks Joshua's desk after he tells her she worries too much about others' opinions. Joshua mocks her strawberry farm upbringing, making her homesick and lonely. You are always gorgeous is written on her flowers the following day. She believes Danny sent her the flowers and is pleased at work. She agrees to forget the kiss from the night before when Josh asks. She replies, why do not we just play? Josh interrupts and tells her that she is dull and that he has always gotten races with paintball game plans. Okay, let us play a gun game. Lucy replies after a glimpse of Josh choking to death. Lucy and Josh paintball. Josh's plan is implemented the following day and everyone at work plays paintball to bond. Lucy appears pale before the game and Josh examines her and says she is burning but she ignores him and plays. Josh hides his concern as Lucy vomits on him. He takes her home when she is terribly ill. Joshua gets her home. He remains because no one else can care for her. She urges him to go, but he calms her and she vomits up again. Since Josh's family are physicians, he calls his brother to check on Lucy. Josh's brother advises him to relax and gives Lucy medication. 
Joshua asks Patrick, his medical brother, to look at Lucy. Are you enjoying this video? Click that sexy subscribe button. You would be helping me continue to create more sexy movie recaps just like this for you. Patrick gets Joshua to attend the wedding with Lucy. Joshua beds Lucy after the wedding. Josh cooks and cleans her home the following morning, so she does not dislike him. Josh leaves after Lucy urges him not to use such techniques against her at work. Danny accompanies Lucy to her workplace with flowers. After Danny departs, she notices strawberry juice on her table, something she informed Joshua Knight she required while unwell. Joshua spends extra time with Lucy since she is ill. Lucy knows she likes him. Joshua is furious when he kisses her on the cheek and urges her to suffer that night. She discovers Josh gave her the flower earlier in the week when she finds the juice and card on the table. She regrets telling everyone that Danny gave her all the roses. She asks Josh whether she may repay him by attending his brother's wedding. She tears up when he refuses. Danny and Lucy kiss, but Lucy feels nothing, so they remain friends. After crossing paths on the sidewalk, she and Joshua kiss on his street after she says no one can kiss her like him. He tells her he will not have sex with her because he needs more time. She hangs up on Joshua. Joshua after work he calls her back and suggests she stay at his apartment. Joshua touches her again without kissing her. Joshua informs Mr. Bexley that he does not require aid in unseating Lucy for the position since he feels exploited. Joshua is furious when he meets Danny for coffee to discuss her interview presentation. Joshua instructs Danny to bring her weekend bag to work the day they depart for the wedding. Lucy worries about what Joshua and Mr. Beckley are fighting over after overhearing them. Lucy and Joshua play and discuss their attraction on the way to the wedding. Lucy tells Joshua that she had a sexual dream about him and had to negotiate her way out of that first date with Danny because she lied about seeing someone. Joshua and Lucy are having fun at the hotel when Joshua's mother, Helene, calls for wedding decorating assistance. Joshua returns to Lucy sleeping. Joshua tells Lucy that ladies first attracted him for his appearance, but moved on to a wonderful person after getting to know him. Joshua. The wedding guests were unhappy. Lucy discovers that Mindy the bride was Joshua's ex-girlfriend. She was probably his rent-a-date. Elaine informs Lucy that she is different from everyone else. Joshua convinces Lucy to stay by saying he does not need Indy's moral support. Instead, his father, Anthony, shattered his heart and sought help. She had her finest sex that night. They had sex again in the shower during the wedding breakfast the following morning. Lucy defends Joshua and praises him to Anthony. Joshua and Lucy return to town. Joshua claims they have always been in love. His bedroom was painted with Lucy's eyes. Lucy gives flattered when she sees that painting, and at that moment Josh tells her that he loves her and wants to end the fights and get together, but Lucy gets weird about it and says that work will come in between so Josh calms her down and asks her to relax and not think about anything else but them. So they both agree to start over that night. The next day Lucy overhears and misinterprets a conversation between Josh and their boss, including that Josh has been using their romance to distract her from the promotion in rage. She vows to beat Josh for the job. She goes back to Danny and talks about how she believes that Josh is telling the truth and thinks he loves her still the truth is he does love her and all he can think about is Lucy only that there is a plan and he was pretending about that conversation with CEO. So after a tough competition, everyone is gathered in the hall and as Lucy goes there she thinks that Josh has become the new operation director but instead informs her that he is switching positions and that she will take over as Bexley and Gannon's new CEO in the end she is on a call and is arguing about her writers with someone it turns out that on the phone is Josh and he is taking her out on a date they kiss. Did you enjoy the video? Click that sexy subscribe button. You would be helping me continue to create more sexy movie recaps just like this for you. Now click this video to enjoy another sexy movie recap. You won't want to miss out on its shocking and satisfying ending.